homeless sustain. It's one of those magical problems that no one knows how to treat. I'm gonna show you one right now. So you cannot change your homocysteine. If your homocysteine is high due to genetic SNPs, there are seven different genetic problems that you could have that cause a high homocysteine level, maybe even eight. We're looking at an eighth one. I don't think anyone knows all eight of them. Yeah, let's see if I can tell you the ones off the top of my head that you could have. If you're homozygous, any of the MTHFRs like uh, C677T or A1290C, that's a problem. If your compound header is like I said, I think that's a problem on the MTHFR. Uh, MTRR, if you're homozygous. CBS, if you're homozygous, especially. MTR, if you're homozygous. That's five of them. GGH, uh, which usually come in threes. Either have them or you don't. And you, if they come in threes, it could be your homozygous sub three. That definitely causes a high homocysteine level. Folate one is the uh, last one, I think, that causes a high homocysteine level. So those are what cause the genetic high fixed homocysteine level. There's no way you can bring down your homocysteine level. The doctors say, oh yeah, we'll bring it down, we'll give you this, we'll give you that. Not gonna happen, because that bridge is out on your transulfuration pathway. It cannot be bridged over. There's no way to do that. Even though they say they can, they can't do it. I know there's a lot of research in pharma about creating enzymes that they can give you there. I've looked at some, they're gonna cost you about, from what I can tell, 1,300 a week, 12 or 1,300 a week, with lots of side effects, almost guaranteed. So there's a more elegant way to bring, to help bring down the inflammation from your homocysteine. Remember, you can't decrease it, but homocysteine does not affect you directly. It causes you to produce cytokines from monocytes. It causes your white blood cells, monocytes, to release cytokines. IL-8, interleukin-8, and MCP-1, monocyte chemoprotectant-1, it's IL-8, MCP-1. You can readily measure an IL-8, your doctor can see if it's high. If you have a high homocysteine, that'd be the next measurement. If you're in the 300s, you're headed towards kidney failure, you already have it. Uh, I've seen that lots of times. Glutathione, though, because homocysteine and glutathione are two sides of the transoperation pathway coin, they do the opposite for each other. So tran so the transoperation pathway is all about converting homocysteine to glutathione. If your transoperation pathway is broken, if you have one of those bridges that you're gonna have a lot of toxicity issues, it's gonna become really problematic. You'll feel the inflammation all over your body eventually. You may not feel it in your 20s and 30s, but you'll eventually start feeling it. So what you do is you bring down the IL-8 and the MCP-1. You stabilize the monocytes. How do you do that? Lots of studies. You can go on a PubMed and look up IL-8 and glutathione. You'll see that stabilizes the monocytes and lowers the IL-8. The problem is there are only one functional oral glutathione in the world. We make it. We have it. We have patents on it everywhere all over the world. It's a biotech product. There is a, uh, a topical one I helped, Nayan Patel. That's the first one we developed. We meet the VARS standard with our oral form of it here. It is VARS glutathione. So can you see that? And so any other glutathions, you're going to go and buy some off Amazon. Waste your money if you want, but it's not going to bring down your IL-8 because they don't work. They're just, they, they weren't designed correctly. They weren't created correctly. They weren't handled correctly. Uh, and I can tell you all the reasons why. Well, we have a patent and they don't. And so I just wanted to show you a lab. This is on a male patient. I can't remember his age. I think he's around 55 or so. He had a the equipment they used to check his outlet. Showed he had a 9.4, which is 19.4, sorry, which is high. And it's not 312, but that's a different unit of measurement on a different lab. A cool lab equipment, but it was high on this. And uh, taking our glutathione for a month brought it down to less than 3.5. You want it less than 3.5, that's ideal. Here's a lab result, if you can see it. If you can see it. IL-8, 19.4 high to less than 3.5 low. We've got literally dozens of those. So it's time to write a paper. I've proved my case. It'll be a peer reviewed uh, paper and everything. So uh, we can get it out there. It's just a cheaper, more elegant way and safer way than taking these crazy enzymes they're developing. I don't know, i probably get slapped by Big Pharma, but I don't care. This is Dr. Dan Purser. Uh, try the glutathione if you have a high homocysteine level. You'll feel the inflammation go away. Usually patients feel it go away before they know it on their lap.
and Shibala, your IL-8s, IL-8. Thank you.